Hello and welcome to Lena's Inception, a uh, Zelda-esque action-adventure game developed by Bitten Studios. And well, as I said, it's, yeah, it's just like a, it's kind of like a top-down 2D Zelda kind of game uh, made by indie developers, and it seems interesting. I want to check it out. You know, in the beginning as well, when you open the game, you can choose an art style. By the way, you guys can choose here right now. You can choose 8-bit or 32-bit, but I prefer 32-bit, so I'm gonna keep that one. Oh, I accidentally restarted the, the little thing there, but that's fine. Anyway, but yeah, Lena's Inception, kind of like a Zelda game. It also has a uh, procedural generation, I believe, which is kind of like it's roguelike kind of thing, you know, where like the dungeons are slightly random and everything. I'll see. We'll, we'll see how that affects the gameplay because it just seems like a lot of indie games try to like force in like a roguelike element. Whether or not it's actually good, I don't know. But we'll see. I'm more interested in the story mode, however, because there's a little bunch of other modes. You can do like daily seeds, you know, and all these little modes and everything. But I think I'm more interested in the story mode. So I guess we'll play that. When the prophesized hero fails, Lena is forced to take up the med. And as far as I know, um, I guess this game might have some um, flashing colors, I guess. So a bit of a seizure warning as well. That, that's what it seems like anyway. Just like, judging from the screenshots, it might do a little like, you know, flashing and everything. So be warned. I guess uh, your name, Lena? Sure, why not? I'll just keep it default. It's like, you know, keeping it Link, I guess. Okay. A world seed. Okay, well, I'm, I'm assuming that's already random, so I'll just, well, actually, you know what, why not? Let's let's try something weird. Let's try, can I put my name? Oh, yeah, I can't put my name. <laughs> Whatever, just put slider, I guess. Sure, why not? It's the slider seed. Hmm. Anyway, start. All right. Let's see what this game has to offer. It came out pretty recently, actually. I think it came out this year, 2020. So... Let's see, moving controls? Up, down, left, right! Wow! Yeah! New item, broken yardstick. Press A to fend off monsters with a stick. Hmm. The, the, the game's already... Or at least the music sounds a little bit glitchy already. Because I do know, I mean minor spoilers, this game... This does a little, you know... Subversion of the genre, I guess. But we'll see how far that goes. Uh, apparently we're a teacher. Put a smiley face on a chalkboard. Somebody has drawn a smiley face. Did we do that? Teaching them how to smile. It's a plan for today's math lesson. Timetable. Monday mornings are taken up with self-defense lessons. Self-defense. Why are students learning self-defense? I mean, you can. It's not like... That's abnormal. But usually it's not mandatory. Full of logic, puzzle books, puzzle books. Hmm. I wonder how hard the puzzles are because I remember my Crossco playthrough. That's kind of like a Zelda S kind of game as well. But the puzzles were a bit too much for me and my tiny brain. I wonder how hard these puzzles are going to be. Can I talk to these students? Current spying target, Miss Lena. Her routine has her hunting exclusively between 12 a.m. and 4 a.m. People seem very wary of her. Isn't she lonely? <laughs> Are you like a... You're like a spy. This student has drawn up a design for a unique machine that can automatically sort the various items dropped by monsters. Okay. Oh, you. Uh, tarot cards cover the desk. The death and tower cards lie face up. Well, that's not good. If they didn't know, tower means destruction and death, well, means death. So... This is made out of different type of wood from the others. Crab made it himself, apparently. His name is Crab. Is it because he puts his arms up like a crab? A special details his students' investments in various stocks. Wow, I'm already investing in stocks. This has a, a stack of borrowed library books on her desk. Some of them are long overdue. Mm, she likes reading, I guess. What about you? You're spinning. This student is proudly displaying his collection of sporting medals on his desk. I don't see any metals, but he loves to spin, though. What's that on his head? Is that a metal, or it looks like an ice cream cone? Anyway. 
Hattie's essay explains why she wants to become a police officer. Really? <laughs> I thought that was kind of like a witch's hat, so I thought you were like a, a magical girl. But no, I guess it's a, it's a police officer. Huh? You go up or down? You go up? That's my bed. It's like it's right next to the classroom. But yeah, take that. Can I pick it up? Come on, Zelda? No? Oh yeah, I guess. Not right now. The scythe? Hmm. I'm not gonna need this. Are you sure? No, no, yeah, you know, no like spinning attack. At least not yet. Gruesome horror novel. Uh oh. Is that foreshadowing? Is it actually? Is this a game actually a horror game? I don't know. I have no idea actually. West Slider Plains. Oh, <laughs> it's the seed. The words. The world seed. Huh? No, my students! Oh, well, I guess they're dead. Or at least glitched out anyway. Hello? Who are you people? I stumbled upon a rusty old train last week. Did Slider used to have a railway? What happened to it? Okay, it's gonna be weird because Slider is like my name. Or at least my username. But uh, it's actually also the world, I guess. I'm gonna work for the chairman when I die and become a skeleton. I've heard you can make a killing! But you'll be dead. At least undead. Lance is a hero, just like his father and his before him. Is it weird that only one family gets to be heroes? Well, if hero equivalates to... What's that word? Equivalate? I don't know. If, if hero is like an analogy for like nobleman in medieval, medieval fantasy, you know, it's not that big of a surprise. I found this on the ground. You, could, you look like you could use it. Okay. I got a meteor. It came from outer space. If you have a bunch of these, maybe you can make something. Amazing. I got a, I got a rock? Okay. Okay. This, it seems to be random NPCs as well. I guess I should follow the chicken. Maybe? Oh. What's going on? What was that? Okay. I guess that's the first dungeon, maybe? I only have like a piece of wood. Alright, let's try. Oh. Okay. Is this the village elder? He's not breathing. And Henrietta the chicken started following you. Oh, Henrietta was carrying something. A uh, pet whistle. So anyway, I'll call back your pet. It's my pet. Let's see, action controls, X, Y, and B. It's kind of weird because I'm using a PS4 controller. X, Y, and B. So it's kind of like square, triangle, circle. You know Gotta make that translation quickly, otherwise you'll mess up your controls. It's the Elder. He's dead. Who killed them? Did you kill them, ch Chicken? And, you know, chickens in Zelda universes are very powerful, especially the 2D ones. Just skulls? Don't worry about it, just skulls. Well, it's dangerous to go alone. The label says, for Lance. Oh, yeah, Lance the hero? But, uh... That's not us. That's somebody else. Can I equip that, actually? No, I guess not. Might as well save, I guess. Hmm. It didn't seem like I have the actual item in my inventory, however. So I guess I'll leave? Oh. Oh, it's Lance. Oh, it's... It's like pseudo Link. Off-brand Link. That outfit, you must be the hero kid. I get the feeling this the Elder wanted you to have this. What are you doing? You could hurt yourself. Why are you, like, you know, doing the pose? <laughs> uh, fine. I'll show you how to use that blade if you complete a quest for me. I need you to rescue my students. Just let me deal with the monsters for now. Come on, I'll take you to the tutorial area. I oh, guess. The tutorial area? We're teaching the hero kid, I guess, ourselves. Grab that. New item. Is it... Well, is it like 10 cents? Is that what it is? Welcome to Andre Zabera's Emporium. So I think, yeah, okay, so I think everything is, like, a bit random. Even on the overworld. Yeah, I thought it was only for the dungeons, but actually, it seems like everything is quite random even on the, you know, on the map. Have you met Rupert? He forges the greatest weapons in the land with his bare hands. Wow. Hmm. Is there a run button? No. Oh, that's just for the whistle, I guess. 
and go back in there. Where's the tutorial area? I have no idea. I get rid of these because I only have a wooden stick. I guess I'll grab this. Oh. Save my own space. What about this? Open your mouth back to quickly return to places you've already been. Okay. <laughs> I already got a bicycle. Yeah, I, I saw the bear emporium. It seems like you can like... You can like buy a bicycle, but it seems very expensive. I can just pick it up, I guess. Well, we'll have our tutorial in here. Okay, is it the first dungeon? But first, let's explore a bit to find somewhere safe. Okay, I pick up. Now, this is a very safe. It's a bunch of pink slimes. Better kill them. You know, isn't Lance supposed to do this? He's a hero, right? Well, I guess he doesn't know the controls yet. You know, he doesn't know how to play. I have to show him. I guess push this. I mean, this is a classic Zelda puzzle. Uh, oh, I think I did it wrong, though. Yeah, I think I did it wrong. I already messed up. Unless, well, I can do this, actually. And then push this down, maybe? Ah, oh, I can't push it down. Never mind. Try again. So push this one on the right. Because once his eyes is closed, I can't move it. Oop, my bad. Is there a map? Yeah, there's a map. I guess pretty straightforward for now, though. No shield, I can't block the arrow. I hit him. Aya. 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 Can't break any of these pots. Can I, like, do the thing where I touch it? No, no, that doesn't work. Uh, I assume we need a key for that. So, we just keep going this way. And yeah, I mean, it's just full-on Zelda, I mean, you know? I'll see how the- we'll see how the story kind of, like, diverges, maybe. Because obviously, the main character, the hero, is not really us, but, you know... We all- we, we have all the controls of a hero, so... Maybe something will happen to Lance, I don't know. I mean, it said before in the story mode, when I- when I, uh, pressed on it, or clicked on it, it said that since Lance is missing, We'll have to take the hero mantle ourselves, you know? Something like that. But this room looks safe enough. Okay. Using your sword is simple. There are two main modes of attack. The first is slashing. To do that, press and release the A button like this. Aya. Good. Now try holding. Oh. Okay. Ow! Eh. Eh. Oh no. Eh. Die, 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 die. These guys have a lot of health. Also, Lance is dead. So it's a very bloody game, by the way. I don't remember The Legend of Zelda being this bloody. You know? Maybe I'm remembering it wrong, but I didn't realize there's so much blood in a Zelda game. Oh. Kid got murdered, by the way. That's not- that's rare in a video game. Like, literally a kid died. Uh, a power of fortitude. One of the Fable Four powers, with this power, every conflict you survive will make you stronger. Well, wow, like leveling up. You drop something, what's this? Hero's Telephone. It has four full batteries and two out of five bars of signal. Amazing. I got the sword. Sharp edge for perfect for cutting things. Sorry, Lance. Okay, is he just dead? Yeah, he's just dead. I was thinking, well, maybe he was just injured, but no, he's just dead. Alright. Let me just equip the new sword. I already have it, actually. There you go. I hit this, this? Yep. There you go. All the pots are to be destroyed. They're no match for me. Can I do the spin yet? No, not yet. I can at least do the spin, you know? Unless I hold it longer, maybe? No. That's just whistling. I just whistle. I might as well destroy all the pots, though. They do drop some coins. We don't need the health, but you know, the coins are nice. We'll probably use those coins to keep interacting with the chicken. Yeah, I hear chicken. Well, I, I can like whistle the chicken away, but I don't know. Eh, die. Die. Can I hit these skulls? No. There's a shield, apparently. A steel shield. Alright. They're full on hero, I guess, for now. Turns out Lance, the hero, won't be doing the quest to save our students, we'll have to do it ourselves. 
If you want to do something right, you have to do it yourself, you know? Is that what they, what they always say? Let's see. Well, let's go over here. And yeah, it's just Zelda. You know, I never played the original Zelda. You know, the actual original Zelda on the NES? Never played that. And probably if you played the 8-bit mode, you know, that probably harps on that older style. Older, uh, older style Zelda. But when it comes to 2D Zelda, the only one, the only one I played, in, I I guess, like full on, like full playthrough, would, would I guess be uh, the Minish Cap. I played that one on the Game Boy Advance. The one with the talking hat, you know. So like Link is like very small, or at least well, not like small normally. I guess uh, part of the mechanics is turning small, rather. And everything. That's the only 2D Zelda I've played. But of course, everyone knows Zelda. It's not like you need to. You know, it's not even. You don't even need to play Zelda. Like the games themselves to know what Zelda is, I feel like. It's just that per pervasive, I guess. Is that the right word? Pervasive? In terms of games? You know what Zelda is. You don't even have to play Zelda to know what Zelda is. Because it's just so like, I don't know, it's kind of like the origin of a lot of like action-adventure games, really. But you probably see its mechanics in other games. Mm, telephone. So we got this from the, the hero. 555-911. Help. No, okay. I don't know. Clues? Hmm. Some kind of graphical glitch has affected my school. My students are trapped inside, oh no. Okay, so that's the overall plot, I guess. Might as well save again while we're here. Oh yeah, there's also multiplayer. I can't really, you know, can't really do it right now, but... I believe you can, like, summon, like, a shadow self, you know, like Dark Link, but, you know... Rather than, like, fighting Dark Link, you're actually... it's just another player. Kind of like... When you think about it, kind of like the LEGO series. You know how, like, there's the LEGO Star Wars or whatever, those type of games? Oh, I didn't mean to leave, actually. Ring, ring. Lance, I wanted to keep you from danger for a few more years, but I failed. I speak to you now from beyond the veil. The undead forces of the chairman of the Baker's Guild have snatched the prince from his throne. With thoughtless actions, the chairman has destroyed the fragile balance of powers that keeps our world from descending into chaos and corruption. It's time to take your first steps towards your destiny and become the hero you were born to be. Seek out the librarian. Just dodge the four hidden dungeons of this island. Defeat the evil within them and become stronger. When you've done that, I will send my acolyte to fill you in on the next steps. Okay. Call this person. Chaos and corruption. Is that what happened to my school? Oh, hold on, let me go back. I need me to leave. Hmm. Oh, did the dungeon change already? Oh, whoops. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Huh. I didn't realize the dungeon changed after I left. You know, that's kind of weird. Alright. The puzzle's the same, right? Uh, no, no, it should, it should be the same. No, it's the same, okay. For some reason, I thought it changed. I guess because of the little barriers on the entryways, I thought, like, for some reason, I gotta get new keys? But no, it's just the normal barriers that go away after you do the puzzle. All right. No, no, it didn't, it didn't change at all. For some reason, I thought it did change. Boo, 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 boo. So we go over here? There's a key. Perfect fit for a blue door. Amazing. That's what we use it for. Hmm. What are these graves? Or they look like graves anyway? I don't know the actual graves. Also seems like the the pet chicken, you know. It comes out once you've defeated all the enemies. So I guess if there's any, any other hidden enemies, maybe it tells you. You know, it's kind of like a way to tell if there's any other enemies in the room. So, I guess you can also always just look in your eyes. Just look with your eyes, I guess. Any other way to go? It seems like there's other rooms, but it doesn't connect to any other rooms, so I guess that's it. But probably it's just a boss room now. I assume the skull means boss, so... Can I talk to the Elder? Ring ring. Defeat the evil within the four dungeons! Okay, go to the librarian. All right. Hold on, let me fight the boss first. 
The Knight of Death, Archangel Azraphael. <laughs> it's a pun. Imposter, thou shalt be vanquished, fiend. Deus Volt, Deus Volt, Deus Volt, Deus Volt. Take that. <laughs> oh. Take that. Yeah. Okay, he's invincible while he's moving there, I guess. So the idea is to hit him while he's spinning that, maybe? Uh, oh. <laughs> Do I get? Did I get hit by the by the thing? I don't know. I was thinking if I if I got hit by the uh, by the actual. Yeah, I guess, I guess, yeah, you can get hit by that. By the, uh, by the, I can't say the word, uh, the rope, the rope thing, the string. It's not really a string, it's a rope, but it's not really a rope. Uh, what is it? It's a flail thing. Okay, you just threw it there, good. Good for you, I don't know what that accomplished. Okay, I assume you're vulnerable. I got, I got hit him in the front, I guess. Can't hit him in the back. Oh, three hits, alright. Classic Zelda, three hits equals death. Archangel Heart. I'm stronger now. Corrupted memory number zero was restored. Mermy zero? Okay. Oh, it's more Lance. Lance backstory? Even, even, even younger Lance? Dad. Lance! Your mother sacrificed herself to get me out, but even she couldn't save me. Oh, my dear stiletto. It's my fault. I should have set you on such a risky mission. There's no way you could have known. I've never seen Archangels so vicious. I think they were protecting something. That's the day you, you become the hero of fortitude. It's too soon, Dad. I know. I know, but only a few people in the world can hold a power like this. And you're the last in our line. You know, Claymar has a big head, by the way. It's just a very, like, round head. Anyway. It's probably, I mean, this is probably a reference to Zelda as well. I imagine this is like the well, it's the father in Lance's father, but in other games, I remember one of the one, one, which one was it? It was like Link's Awakening, right? That was one of the first Zelda games after the actual original Zelda. I believe something similar happened where like Link's like uncle or something it was like a warrior that tried to like fight back the enemies, but he couldn't or something. Anyway, your mother would be so proud of you. Here, the traditional garb. Ah, yes. Jesse, look after Lance. He's just a boy. I'll keep him safe as long as I'm breathing. Well, you're dead, so... Actually, you're both dead. <laughs> Goodbye, lad. Look after the prince and the kingdom. They'll need you one day. Same progress, yes. Yeah, there you go. Bit of story there, after defeating the boss. There's a bug there. Can I capture? Can I capture that bug? I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't, have a, I don't have a bug net, so can't do anything about that. Hmm, can't progress here. So again, it is interesting. I mean, if I'm correct, I don't know if I am, but I assume even the overworld is randomly generated. So there are like little obstacles, just like in the real Zelda, where you can't get past until you do the dungeons and get the proper items, right? And so this game is, uh, I guess, procedurally generated in a way that uh, makes sure that you don't get soft lock, I guess. That's the idea. So even though it's uh, random, it's not completely random. To the point where you can't actually finish the game, you know? Coins, coins, coins? How much coins do I have? Does it say? It says, uh, oh, 111? Right? 112 now. How can I buy 112 coins? I don't know. I guess we're supposed to meet the librarian? Oh, I don't know where the librarian is. Oh, lock that starfish. Oh, 100 bucks. Amazing. Ah, can't go there though. Okay, we're gated from that. Hmm. There's a big old map here. We can look at. Can I jump on the ledge? No, can't do that. I guess not. It's not Pokemon, you know. Can you say anything? We can all rest easy knowing that Lance will save the world. Well, he's dead, so too bad. 
monsters may be deadly, but they're also our only source of money. So I guess they're a necessary part of life, right? Yeah, but I've all, I don't know, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's a gamer thing. I've always fantasized, like... I mean, obviously in real life it would suck, but like... If you could just kill monsters for money, wouldn't that be great? Like, not just like... I, and I don't mean mercenary work. I don't mean like getting hired to kill monsters. Like, but literally, like, there's a bunch of slimes outside the village. You stab them with your sword, and they literally explode into, like, dollar-dollar bills. Yo. You know? Wouldn't that be great? Just, like, get some exercise, and then also get some money. Wouldn't that? <laughs> but obviously, I guess, that's only in video games. And also probably in real life, if actually monsters actually attack. Uh, I mean, then your, your typical person probably die. So, probably not a great idea to start attacking monsters in real life. Even though, I mean, they don't exist, but it'll be, it'll be like like attacking a bear, I guess, in real life. Like a really, like, strong animal. I mean, you could. I guess that's called hunting. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, family heirloom. I don't know why we buy that. It's an arcane book. Couldn't understand it. Don't want it. It's Bruce. Potions, so we don't know what it does. Red silk. Second hand, but in good condition. I don't know what that does. Is it like armor, maybe? I don't know. This is a bicycle, but I already have a bicycle, actually. Uh, Orange, you're, you're scared of bees? <laughs> you ain't fighting a giant bee? I guess not. Do, 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 I assume... Oh, is this the library? Maybe? Slider library. Again, kind of weird, because that's my name, but... It's the world. Because I put the world seed as, like, slider, so now it's like everything's the slider world. I know living in a cave isn't glamorous, but at least the elder gets to own his home. Hmm. Hello? Does this advance the plot? Um, a new face. I can hardly believe it. After all these years on this tiny island, someone I've never met before. So, what can I do for you? Can you give me exposition? Wow, that sounds crazy. Give me your phone and I'll program the dungeons into it. Here you go. It looks like your next dungeon is the Ishura Uhuru Silver Swamp. What? <laughs> In the east. Who knows, maybe you'll find one of your children there. No, I'm pretty sure my students are stuck in the school. I added my number as well, feel free to call me anytime. Why is there a heart? <laughs> call this person using the telephone in your inventory. Oh, and keep your eyes peeled for overdue library books while you're out. Find them all and you'll get into my good books. Sure thing. Is that a pun? Because you're a librarian. Oh, I didn't want to. I want to read this thing. No? Guess not. What are these boxes? Just random boxes with arrows in them? I don't know what that means. Can I read the books? Incomprehensible volumes. You know, in other video games, this is where you read like a bunch of tips, you know, gameplay tips. But no, nope. just, just random books. Have you found my books? Nope. You found zero? Have you tried looking? Okay, well, I haven't left the room yet. Page. Oh, I, I guess that's a pun too. <laughs> It's a romance novel about a librarian who falls in love with an eldritch abomination. Seems unlikely. A weird fanfiction. Of herself, I guess. Did she write that? It's a tale of two friends who go on a journey to defeat evil. Hmm. What's this say? Private! Nope. It's not private to uh, Zelda heroes. I will destroy your pot. I'll go in here. It's Paige's diary. She wouldn't want me to touch this. Oh, come on, let me see it. Hmm. It seems like there's an area above there, but I can't go inside. Maybe we get an item to like jump inside boxes and jump out or something? That's weird. I guess we'll continue on. Go to the next dungeon. And save uh, Lena's students, I guess. We didn't get much backstory of Lena though. I feel like. We kind of just saw her. Like, the only reason I know she's a teacher 
aside from the fact that I guess she was in the classroom, um, is from the store page, actually. It said, like, oh, Lena's a teacher, and she's trying to save her students or whatever. But why? You know? I mean, I guess it's implied that teachers care about their students. There's also a bunch of teachers who don't care, though. we be like, well, my students disappeared? Oh, well. I guess I'm out of a job. Let's go somewhere else, you know? <laughs> I feel like that would be a typical response as well. I mean, you would you as a teacher defeat monsters and save the world just to find your students? I don't know. I've never seen a teacher that dedicated. I mean, they might care about your education and everything, but you know, I don't think they can save you from the apocalypse. Anyway, where am I going? I'm going trying to go east, right? So, how do I go east, however? See the map. Nah. Where am I? Hey, where am I? I'm over. Oh, I'm at the bottom, maybe? Okay. I, I thought I was at the top because you see this thing over here, level two? But I guess that's where you need to go for the dungeon. That's level three. So I guess you see the sword over here. I guess we're over here is where we are. Mm, I guess just go directly. Like, I could explore, but probably there's no point because there's like, probably going to be a bunch of barriers. I guess let's go. I keep looking at the wrong thing. Because we're not the right icon. Uh, can't go right though. They j hey, how they jump? <laughs> the NPC just jumped? How do you do that? Case okay, so the slider, give me creeps. You go down one ladder and then up another and up miles away. They don't make sense. Well, how do you do that? I can't do that. God, they just jump around all day. Hmm. I guess try to go up. Okay. What's this again? Shadow Temple. Enter your own peril. Um. Let me just say. Shadow Temple. There's a slot for an item here. Insert the power of fortitude. Uh, not yet. This writing here is too eroded to read. Mm. Stained glass window showing two men fighting at the end of time. It seems like the final boss. Because <laughs> I don't know if I want to be here right now. Let's see. What's a call? Can I. Let's call Elder. No. That's the same message. What about, what about Paige? Not my books? No? Okay, same thing. All right. It's, it's just as if you were you were talking normally. My family has an old saying, you know. If you're trying to show compassion to someone who is angry, bring them a personal gift. A personal gift. Let's see. Over here. We got a book. Oh, it's one of the books for a uh, page. Ultimatum. Petty Chase. Final notice. Your Majesty, as mentioned in my previous letter, I write to you representing the Guards' Union. The Union's members have been severely underpaid in your service. The Union has demanded payment over the last five months' salary due, to, due by the 10th. To date, our, member, our members have received no such payment. Okay? This is like a Union letter. Several uh, letters requesting payment have already been sent your way. This is your final notice. If a member do not receive payment by the same, our members will be forced to walk out of their post at the palace and seek our new opportunities. The Tavern the Bakers Guild has already provided many of our members of offers. Best regards, any chase. Okay. It's just a random labor union letter. I don't know how that... Like coincides with this fantasy world, you know, a random labor union letter, but sure, why not? What's this? Viscous yellow potion. Drink it to find out what it does. Mm. Reminds me of Binding of Isaac. You don't know what it does until you actually use it. Now, let's see, I can't really go up from here, but I guess I go down, because this is like, this is the sand area I saw before. So I can go over here. Can I go down from here? Oh, there's a little something over here. Ten bucks? I guess not really ten bucks, it's like technically ten cents. That's just like the cent symbol. Alright. Oh, we're like in like a pseudo village, I guess. 
Viscous white potion. Mm. I'm Rupert, the blacksmith of this town. If you need to upgrade your arsenal, I'm your bear. It's all free. I just ask you to bring me the raw materials. The raw? Oh, is it like the raw materials? So keep an eye out for meteors, yeah? The brown and gray and shoot out of the sky. Alright. So I can upgrade my stuff. Interesting. I, get a, I can get a katana. Or a tungsten sword. I don't know which one's better. I guess this one's for... It says here... Bring it to bear on an enemy for an electrifying surprise. So it's like an electric sword. And this one has like a secret technique. I don't know. Or made using a secret technique. And this is a silver shield. A paw man's mirror. <laughs> or... What well, puns? I assume the silver shield you can like... It's like a mirror shield. You can like reflect things. I guess. There's an old slider legend that speaks of a magical phoenix ash that has the power to transform any bird. But I'm gonna be honest, I haven't seen many birds around these days. You know. You guys like these houses? I'm Ayala. My husband's out the front running his blacksmithing business. As for myself, I add much needed liquid li uh, liquid lu I can't say that word. Much needed liquidity. Liquidity? Liquidity to the global financial market by trading equities. Oh, yes. That's a lot of economic talk. Instructional manuals on ancient weaponry. Also, none of these like weird boxes. Over here? Hello? Not liking shoes, I prefer to go barefooted. <laughs> oh my god. So much puns. I didn't realize this game had so many puns in it. Your town's a little inefficient, you know. I can't leave. Can't get 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 these seashells all the way. So there's actually one way. I can't really get out, can I? I'm trying to look. No, there's no other way to get out. Actually, can you get out? You see this NPC? Can you? Oh, you can jump. My God, I... everyone else can jump. I can't do that. So yeah, I can't really get anywhere else from here. So I'll just leave, I guess. kind of annoying. So I guess, well, let's see. Let's go to the north, maybe. It is kind of, it's just, it's just kind of all random, you know? <laughs> Which, I mean, there was kind of like a roguelike indie boom for a while, I feel like. Where people just added roguelike elements to everything. I, f I feel like ever since uh, The Binding of Isaac got popular and everything, but I never really liked it all that much, to be honest. Roguelike elements don't really do it for me. You know, because randomness... Well, I feel like this is a rant for another day, but randomness basically just, you know... I prefer, like, uh, levels to be actually designed in a, in a very balanced way, instead of just randomness. Because randomness, it just feels like it's all arbitrary, you know? It doesn't feel like a human made it, it's just like a machine that made it, and it doesn't feel like a living, breathing world, you know? Anyway. Tombs and Tentacles. P.H. Craftlove. Oh yes, G.G. Ernest. Tombs and Tentacles is an eldritch horror game that you can play with your friends. It is directly inspired by the works of P.H. Craftlove. The game requires one Tomb Master, trademark, who controls the game world and non-player characters, NBCs. The player characters are normally controlled by two or more players, but certain scenarios of the, if the Tomb Master is prepared can be played by a single character on their own. Okay, it's a parody of Dungeons and Dragons and also um, H.P. Lovecraft. As is the fashion of craft loves horror stories, those are there are no happy endings, okay? But be prepared to be prepared to die, or worse, in many different ways. For a free demonstration of Tombs and Tentacles, call 555-6666. Okay. Ernest will answer the call and acts as the tomb master for you while you decide what your player character will do. A uh, common criticism of the game is that its rules are very complex, sometimes requiring non-integer sided dice. Wow. This is unavoidable due to the nature of the game. Each of the four player characters available in demo have four stats. These are printed here for your convenience. Jerry, human waiter, is uh, one in might and speed, but has high sanity and average intelligence. Sally, the human telemarketer, is, is very strong. She's very beefy. Uh, low speed, average sanity, and very smart, however. She's got brains and brawn. James, the janitor, very beefy, but everything else is low. Uh, Tamsin is a squid, okay? It's very fast. Now that although Jerry's might and speed stats are lowest in the game, he can augment these by stacking plates. Oh, yes, of course. This comes out counts with some sanity. When played well, he's the most powerful character available. Well, Jerry, Jerry the human waiter. Okay. Oh, the 
dot dot dot. Amazing. Can I call that actually? Well, <laughs> we're kind of meandering around, to be honest. For sure, why not? Let's see, how do I go back? What is it? Oh, ring ring. Wow, someone finally stumbled across his phone number after all these years. Would you like to play a game of tombs and tentacles then, fellow craft love, craft love fan? Sure. Oh, okay. I, I feel like we just stumbled upon a completely different game. You're lying down under a desk between two bookcases in the middle of a huge library. You're not sure how you got here, but you should probably look for a way out. Get up? Sure. You will get up in a second. First, you need to remember who you are. I am... You know what? Uh, Sally the Telemarker. Oh, that's right. You're Sally. Your base status intelligence, which is sadly unappreciated in your current occupation. <laughs> Maybe you'll get a chance to do something about that in this library. Uh, library, though. As you get from under the desk and begin to stand, you feel a ground tremble. You can hear the book shift from side to side and the shells around you. Oh, that's not good, because I have low speed. You roll a 1 for 4 speed total. Imagine that. You narrowly avoid toppling the bookcase and skid into the aisle. Oh, somehow, that's that. The rumbling stops for now. There are two ways to get out of here. Let's try right. As you jog down the aisle, the far wall comes up over the horizon. It's a very large library. You notice something strange about the ground up ahead. Take a gander. You sneak up to the mysterious thing on the ground. It is in fact nothing supernatural at all. You wonder why, why you even thought it might be. It is just a plain old dirty hole in the ground with a tentacle coming out of it. No, just a tentacle. Don't worry about it. Wait, what? Roll for Sandy. You roll 4.3. <laughs> Not integer, I guess. Yeah, there's like decimal points. 9.3 sanity in total. Your eyes lock into a slimy tentacle and can't look away or even move. It seems to call you with its shimmying movements. You shiver and break out in a cold sweat. Come hither, you hear it say in your mind. It doesn't move. Oh wait, it's just a rope. You feel so stupid that you lose one sanity. Yeah. The library hall in front of you uh, is in front of you. The torn books and broken book cases line its depths. A rope hanging from the ceiling appears to go all the way down inside it. You could climb down, you think. On the other hand, there are lots of books around here. You could try looking for some words. Words are sometimes useful to know, you know, that because you read it once using words. And you know it must be true because words knows all sorts of things. They're good like that. Okay, words. Words are good, but you're gonna have to prove you're worthy of them. Can you read? Sure. You roll a two point... <laughs> for twelve. Your eyes lock into the books as pages. There's a fierce battle between you and the words. It's over in a short order because you're actually not so dumb after all. Amazing. It's one of our best stats. The books thank you for your trouble and graciously offer you a word. Your word is juice. Nice. But you lose one intelligence. Oh. Well, I'm your host for any of you. I don't know why we're playing this game. I thought we were playing, playing Zelda, but instead we're playing like a text adventure. Climb down. Curiosity gets the better of you. Why this hole appear and just why... Uh, just why was this rope so conveniently placed as to allow someone to rappel down into it? You grab the rope and start to abseil down into the darkness. You can't see anything which could be a blessing. In the depths, you lose all sense of distance and time. The opening of the hole is a distant point of light above you, and you're certain the walls are closing in on you. Roll for might. Oh, I thought I thought uh, Sally had a high might. Why is it only a D2? Oh, no. Actually, the, okay. The dice is different from the actual stats. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. When you roll the actual dice, it's actually different than the actual uh, stats you have. Because Sally has like 10 might. You flip a coin. Okay, it lands on the edge. This seems inconclusive, so you try again. The coin turns into a d20. Uh, and then you get an 8 point up. Which is 11 in total. Hmm. And then, yeah, I thought she had... Well, I don't know. Your slippery palms lose their grip on the rope and you fall all the way down. Luckily, it's not far. But the rope burning your palms hurts like hell. You lose one might. Uh. You're at the bottom of the hole! Okay, this is like... Okay, I feel like we should like stop now because it's like... This is like entirely all, another game in... Uh... Can I quit? How do I quit? Quit. Yeah, I'm gonna quit. Well, I hope you enjoyed it. It was nice talking to a fellow fan. Alright. So there you go. I feel like, yeah, you, that could that could go on forever, I feel like, until you die, I guess. I assume that that was also randomly generated. As well, random gen uh, randomly generated text adventures. That seems to go on into infinity, probably. Fizzy red potion. Is it cherry flavor? Hmm, apparently 
go over there, at least not yet. Let's go up. You know, actually, the the the, the little mini game we just played, tombs and tentacles, kind of remind me of an uh, AI dungeon. Actually, like speaking of text adventures, interesting little software. I believe you can play in browser, but can also play on the phone. It's like an app, AI dungeon. I believe technically AI dungeon two. It's 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 interesting because AI dungeon is kind of like a text adventure, but yeah, everything is like generated by a computer. But unlike uh, the game we played, you know, everything is like generated, even the sentences. So you just type a sentence and, you know, the game or... I call it, it was kind of like a game. It was more like a, a fun gizmo, I guess. But uh, you can type in just random things and then, you know, and then the AI just tells a story for you, I guess. I often, well... I might stream a dungeon one of these days, probably not, I don't know, depends. Like, it's, it's fun the first time, but I feel like the gimmick kind of wears off after you play it too many times. Uh, but, I, but the adventures I always did in AI Dungeon often involves blowing up the world. Look, I don't know. I don't know why, but I'll, I often just like somehow turn into like a necromancer and then sacrifice the souls of billions to like a demon overlord and then kill everyone and also tear the fabric of reality. It just happens all the time. It always ends that way. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's just me. It is fun though. I believe there's like a premium version you can buy as well. That makes the AI better, I guess. Because they have like a, something called like a dragon model or whatever. Whatever that means. Anyway, uh, go to the right. Well, we'll go, we'll go down, technically. You can just go down real quick to maybe grab the thing I saw before. There is some semblance, I guess, of game designs. Sort of. Like, for example, that item I couldn't get, I had to go all the way around to get it. That's like... Basic game design, I guess. Going like a different way to grab something. Hmm. That's back there. Let's go over here. I assume this is the correct way to go. Is that a dolphin? Ah. I assume that's a dolphin. Also, that's a statue of Lance, I guess. Uh, I guess, yeah, go right. Right is the next dungeon, I guess. Trying to pull a stuff on AI dungeon? Do you just pretend to play a gadget game in AI dungeon? I don't know how that would work. I imagine, well, the, the AI in that in that game probably, as far as I know, doesn't seem to recognize, like, brand stuff, you know? If you try to put, like, random names, I don't think the AI will know. Unless maybe you get the premium version, but, you know, if you put, like, unless it's someone super famous, but if you try to, like, put random anime characters, you know, the AI doesn't know what you're talking about, so. Anyway. Lena's Inception. Let's do this dungeon. It looks very green. Looks like a sewer. Well, where do we go? I guess we just explore. Can you go up? There's a, there's a fly in my room. Get out of here. Uh, oh. Hello? Oh. I think that slime died. <laughs> okay. It just dropped in the water. It didn't even do anything. It just died. I guess it dissolved. It dropped, the, it dropped the heart, but I can grab it. Okay, got the blue key. Oh, my coin, it's gone. Don't pick up your coin fast enough, it disappears into the void. By the way, I wonder what the green hearts are. You know, you only see them, I feel like, in the dungeons. There's like three green hearts above the red hearts. I don't know what that means. My first guess is like, you know, extra hearts, but it seems like I lose my hearts anyway if I get hit. I don't think it's like extra HP, as far as I know. Could be like companion HP, but then the chicken doesn't really 
fight in the actual dungeon room, so... I don't know why there will be HP for a companion. Kaboom. Alright, pretty straightforward actually so far. Got the blue key and then we just go this way. A lot of pots. So much pots. Give me all the money. Grab those two. Hurry up. Go, go, go. Before they, before they disappear. I wonder if it's worth it to grind so much money. We don't really... Well, I don't know. There's not much to buy with this money except potions and some extra tools, maybe. I don't know what they'd even do. Like from the, the Bear Emporium guy. <laughs> Might as well get all of it. Let's see. What is this? This is a map. Okay. See the dungeon. Alright. Okay, yeah, pretty straightforward. Just go left. I assume there's like a puzzle, maybe? No, it's actually not a puzzle. It's a, it's an item after you defeat all the enemies, I guess. It is a meteor. Okay. Oop, oop. Oop, oop. Give me that. Which way do we go? Let's go up. See if there's anything here. Gotta explore everything, right? Hmm. The ladder. Silent Cave of Apathy. Um, I stumbled into this cave by uh, cave by accident. It was scary at first, but I have so much cool loot now. Caves are dangerous, though. Cave monsters grow up drinking all the potions you find on the ground. I know. Maybe this will help you. Okay. Good luck! Alright. Random NPC. I guess it, it is worth it to, I guess, talk to NPC sometimes. They give you stuff. So this is like a little extra room, I guess? This random room that appears. I guess all the enemies are harder, however. And they explode. <laughs> oh. Gotta stay away from them. Yeah. And yeah, stop farting. That's what they're doing. They're just farting. Uh oh, I have low HP now. Let's try to eat a, try a potion. Maybe. Hmm. I thought I had more potions than that. I have like one viscous yellow potion. Where are my other potions? Is that it? It's just that that's just it. No, I should have more. Okay, it's just from here. Oh, it's a hallucination potion. Ah Oh my god. I'm dead. Game over. Alright. <laughs> okay. Don't drink that, as it turns out. Actually, how do I, like, cancel? I guess, I, I guess that's just stuck in my, my uh, hot bar now, which I don't want. I, want. I don't want that in my hot bar. Whatever. That's fine. Let's just go back. Stop farting. Uh, like so hearts. Oh, do you mean the green hearts? Yeah, I was talking to before about what the green hearts are. They don't look like temporary like HP or anything. I don't know what they does at all. These, these monsters are, are stronger. They do way more damage, actually. Someone mentioned good loot. I haven't seen any good loot yet. Ah. Give me that health. Oh, does it explode the uh, rocks, actually? Oh, that's helpful. I don't know if they explode the big rocks, though. Any other rocks to destroy? It doesn't seem like it's destroying anything. Spider. Weird spider thing. Ow, got hit by the explosion. 
All right. Mm. Well, at least we got our health back. Nothing to do here, I guess, though. Someone mentioned loot. <laughs> Where is the loot? I don't see any loot. Hello? Loot? Oh, I gotta kill these guys, though. Oh, no, they just fall. Don't worry about it. Okay. <laughs> Over here. It's quite silent. Can I pick that up? Meteor, and then a bunch of monsters come out. No? Oh, okay. I guess that's it. All that to get one meteor. Which is fine, I guess. The meteors are uh, upgrade materials that I might use eventually. I'm saving them up for a sword, ideally. We can also go to the right. Oh, I didn't mean to go back up, actually. Go down. What's to the right? Okay, over here. Mm, it looks like it's, it's, an, it's an NPC, you know, that's it. Can an NPC die, I wonder? I don't know. Ah. These guys take so much hits. Okay. Hello. This place is great for a stock camp if you don't mind the locals. Oh, I can buy here, okay. Buy a bunch of, uh... Potions, but... I mean... No? No thank you? Okay, so I mentioned good loot. I mean, there's one meteor, and there's a shopkeeper where you can buy some potions, I guess, but... I mean, I don't know what the potions do, is the thing, <laughs> you know, so... so I don't want to take my chances, I'll just save my money. Alright, there you go, just, just a little, uh, side distraction, a little... Side quests, I guess. With like harder monsters for a little bit. So we'll continue on to the boss of this area, which I imagine is on the left. Kill these monsters, though. So, do I have to kill these monsters? I guess I don't have to kill them. I can just go. Unless there's like barriers that make you force yourself to not be able to continue, you can actually just skip these monsters if you don't want to fight them. All right, classic puzzle. Let's see. Well, you do this, basically. Ah, yes. Ah, baby puzzles. This is the type of puzzles I expect from a Zelda game. Unlike in CrossCode. I don't know, I don't want to complain about CrossCode all day, but I'm just reminded of CrossCode. And like, very, very difficult, like, complicated puzzles that you have to do in that game. But like, in real Zelda, you don't do that, you know? At least for most of the, the dungeons. You just do like a very, very simple block puzzle. You just put it on the switch. That's all I want, you know? That's all I want. I don't want to do... Super hard logic puzzles. In order to proceed in the game. And be stuck on it for like, five hours. It's just not what I want. Let's see, what's this? It is an amulet of strength. Okay, can I equip it? Hmm. Or is it just like... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Ah, it's a poison potion. Oops. Ah! I'm dying, help. I'm losing green hearts as well somehow. Alright, well, I lost some HP. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure how you like... I can do that, I guess, to cancel the thing. The, the potion being on the hotbar. Hmm. Oh, okay, there you go. It is, it is, I was wondering if it's passive or not. I guess it is. You have to, like, just interact with uh, objects that you are able to interact with. Okay, you just, yeah, okay. You just walk into them. As I thought, you mean, no, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I believe in other Zelda games. You have to, like, equip a, an item to actually lift things up. You know, like, you have to use- put it on the hotbar and actually use it. But here's Archangel Hedrinail. I guess it's a big head. You're not her. I'm not a fan of this. Mm. Okay. 
Okay. What do you do? Okay, probably, yeah, you, you do the thing, you pick up the item in the dungeon and you use it for the actual boss, I guess. Okay, hold on, pick it up. Uh, how do I throw it? I can't really, that doesn't do much. Hmm, how do I... I don't know. How do I... I don't know how do I... Eh. I press the button, it doesn't do anything. It just drops it. One, and then one more. And it does like a little weird thing where he just... spins and sucks you in. Hello? I don't know what you do with this. Ah! You just... I was wondering, like, maybe you drop it while he's, like, doing the sucking motion? I don't, I don't get this. What? No! Ah! Baby game, too hard. I can throw it there. I can't seem to throw it up, though. For some reason. I think I'm gonna die. I can't just, like, hold the shield up. It doesn't work. I don't know why it doesn't work. Throw it! Go! Yeah, it doesn't... That's not throw. Do I need to throw it here like that? Oh, is that how it works? That's weird. Okay, that's his, like, wing. Why is it there? Can I pick it up? Okay, is that how it works? I guess it's momentum-based? It's kind of weird. I, I kind of still don't kind of get it. I guess it's because I have to, like, move while... Like that. Okay. Because for some reason, I guess you lose momentum while you're standing on the edge, I guess? If you're standing still, it doesn't go towards the, the person. You actually have to move while you're throwing it. Is that always a thing in, in Zelda? I don't remember. It's been so long. I don't know if that's unique to this game or not. But you have to actually be moving while throwing it in order for it to move, I guess. Because I was just standing on the edge and trying to throw it, but it wasn't going anywhere. I just kind of dropped it. Yeah. Ow. Ah. Hello? Oh, did I pick it up? Oh, okay. <laughs> Bye! A blam. Somehow survived that. Alright. I was just misunderstanding the one mechanic. I didn't realize you're supposed to like be moving while throwing it. I don't know. I feel like in other games, you could just... Maybe I was doing it wrong. Anyway.